So we have one final type of conditional statement, and this is where things get a little bit different. We have something known as a switch statement. So a switch statement now is looking at things in regards to what happens if I want to say something is explicitly equal to something. Uh, I'm looking at all these different possible scenarios of what it could possibly equal. In this regard, again, I've jazzed it up a little bit and I said, um, maybe I want to build my own ASCII converter. I don't want to do the uh, casting that we've learned already because uh, that was confusing and I didn't understand it. You should go back and watch that video. But I wanted to go ahead and design uh, my own. So one of the things that we can do is by adding in this switch statement, notice how again, I include curly braces to indicate that this is a block of code. And inside of this block of code, I'm going to look at different cases. Uh, you can think of this almost like the test cases I do in our homework. So the thing that I establish is, again, I make my keyword switch telling Java what kind of code I'm about to do and then I tell it what I'm gonna be comparing what am I gonna be looking at the entire time what variable so now every time I want to deal with a potential case that word I use the word case and then I say what it might potentially equal in this case a 65 well Afterwards, this is where things change a little bit. Instead of putting more curly braces in, I put in a colon. And that colon, excuse me, that colon indicates that the block of code afterwards is going to be what gets calculated out. Now, this is a little bit interesting, but I've included this guy right here. This, uh, I cannot draw those arrows. To save me, there we go. I've included this break statement. This is a new keyword as well. Uh, but what this does is this tells Java to exit out of my code. And there's a reason behind this because it'll actually evaluate all the different potential things it can equal. And that's actually a little weird uh, because you're thinking, oh, well, it can only equal one thing. Think of this in the same regard as if. I were to make that multi-line code again, the only difference is instead of there being an else, it's just an if statement, it's a bun it's single alternative if statements one after another. That's actually what I'm doing when I make a switch statement. And in fact, you know, as you can see, what happens if I do not include a break at say case 75? That's the one that will be executed in this regard. Well, we take a look at it if you want. Uh, run this yourself. You go ahead and pause the video for a second. Hopefully you've seen what it will do. But if we compile out our code, what we're going to see is, in this regard, with the break statement, K75 is K. If I remove that break statement, if I remove that break statement, then what will happen is not only is x going to equal, not only is it going to say x is k, but it will actually move on. And then that last section uh, we haven't talked about just yet, but it is known as the default, and that's the end all, be all. This is what this will be displayed if I don't exit out of my code.